Hi. Uh, thanks to Josh Marshall, I guess, uh, you know, video blogging responses to the State of the Union is going to become all the rage shortly, so I thought I would, um, you know, throw in my two cents. Um, you know, like a lot of people, I felt Jim Webb's response was really great. It, it was fantastic to see a Democrat raise the issue of inequality. He was really strong on the foreign policy issues as well. He seems like a good personality to deliver these kind of messages, you know, credible in a way that, y y you know, some fool uh, in his Adidas hoodie um, you know, yuppie guy isn't, um, his family record on, on military policy is very good. You know, I hope he'll, he'll take a, a leading role on these things. Um, at the same time, as Max Sawicki points out in a sort of lamely old school, you know, textual blog post, I, it was kind of distressing to see... Mm, the way that the Democrats in the audience all kind of stood and applauded like like dummies at some of the president's references to Iran that that Webb himself didn't take this particular thing on. Um, you know, I mean, I see why the Democrats applauded, literally speaking, what they were applauding was the idea that Iran shouldn't get nuclear weapons, um, which is true. I, I, I would like to see Iran not get a nuclear weapon. Um, <clears throat> You know, but outside the realm of the naive, I think we understand that the president's um, remarks in this regard, his um, remarks about Iran, his remarks about Hezbollah, uh, as my colleague Sam Rosenfeld points out on TAP, just the general conflation of Sunni extremism and Shiite extremism as somehow the same phenomenon. You know, we're all aimed at pushing the United States in the direction of military confrontation with Iran, perhaps an even wider war with Syria, with, with Lebanon. Um, and this is all bad. I mean, this is the next phase of the war on terror debate. And it, it's crucial that Democrats understand that this is where it's going and take the other side on the issue, not sort of um, play dumb, play yes men, standing and clapping. Oh, the mullahs are bad. Oh, nuclear bombs are bad. And, I mean, those things are true. But at the same time, they're they're really not what's at issue here, and um, you know we're we're screwed as a country if the opposition party can't muster some kind of opportunity to uh, you know issue opposition on these fronts to stand up and and to push back. The simple assumption that Bush is too unpopular to do further harm uh, at this point, you know, that's that's um, uh, comforting, but but I think it's wrong. I think there's no real evidence for that. Um, anyways, uh, I'm Matt Iglesias. It's late. Uh, those are my thoughts, and um, I'll sign off now.